Hey there, kids and cats. Your Enodia King here. The quest is over, but we get a world quest right after the end of the quest, and it's impossible to miss. You go to Li Yue, and then, like, the minute you move, the cutscene starts, right? So why wasn't that part of the quest? Why isn't it voiced? Anyway, questionable developer decisions aside, I decided it might be fun to try doing a voice for this this world quest that we get that should have been part of the the event quest. So it's going to be a little bit cringe. <laughs> I've never done this before. You guys know I've only recently started to do voice videos. So we'll see how it goes, okay? Oh god, it starts with Paimon, I forgot. Okay. <clears throat> Look! He really is over there! Yeah, that sounds like Mickey Mouse. Hey! Jump me! Oh, it's you two. We came to ask you about something! Would you mind waiting for a moment? I'm currently in the middle of something. What are you busy with? Speaking of which, to think you managed to return so quickly! What speed! Ah, Zhongli, are these your friends? They often come here to look for you. Ah, yes. They are old acquaintances of mine. Splendid! Since you two are also here, could you help me persuade Zhongli to sell his archaic stone, please? Archaic stone? What would you want one of those for? Do you not know? Archaic stone is highly sought after now. It's not even a matter of price, for there is barely any supply on the market. I was telling stories as usual today, and Zhongli dropped by as usual too. Somehow we talked about my Through the Eyes of a Dragon, one of my finest works, if I do say so myself. I love to go back over it from time to time. It's a good one, isn't it? <laughs> Zhongli always says that my storytelling is superb. At first, I thought he was just an erudite gentleman, who knew a lot about folk culture. But as it turns out, he's also well versed in history and mythology. So now I often trouble him with the various questions I've got. The pleasure is all mine. Don't be so modest. You've helped me a lot. But come to think of it, the act of chatting is pleasurable only because you're talking to the right person. Zhongli, for instance, is a good chatting companion with many fantastic ideas and, to be honest, lots of far-fetched theories, too. <laughs> there was this one time when I told him, See, my story first tells how Rex Lapis carved Ejdaha out of a magical rock and then elaborates on how they fought side by side across the four corners of the world. Isn't that just mesmerizing? Yet he said, The story is a true masterpiece, save for some inaccurate details. According to some researchers, Rex Lapis may not have possessed the skills required to create such a work of craftsmanship. What a bummer. And there was also another time when I told him about the serpent of Qingzhe village. He didn't buy the story at all saying it was too good to be true for the serpent to transform into a beautiful landscape. Hmm. I wonder if too much knowledge can stifle imagination. What a shame that someone as well-cultured as Zhongli should fail to appreciate the aesthetics of artistic creation. I can hardly object to your criticism. I shall keep it in mind. But your stories are always marked by wild imaginations. I just point out what I notice as an ordinary listener and hope that it might be of use to you. Since storytelling requires a sharp mind, I am sure a storyteller such as you can certainly understand where I'm coming from. And those are the heartfelt reactions from a devoted audience member. You're right. I know your good intentions. You want me to become the best storyteller in Li Yue Harbor, right? He just means to say that the details in your stories aren't correct. Why are we talking about stories here? What has this got to do with the archaic stone? Ah, yes. Back on topic. Back on top. So, I told 
through the eyes of a dragon again the other day. Aren't you worried that your audience will get bored if you always tell the same story? Some stories are worth being told time after time, forever and ever. His stories are meant to be told repeatedly. It takes time and creativity to come up with new plots, after all. Ah, see? Zhongli really gets me. Anyway, that day, a miner, the leader of a mining crew, was out for work and happened to pass by while I was telling the story. He told me, Well, do you know about the chasm? There's a type of incredibly beautiful stone to be found in that place. Such stones have a faint and exquisite luster. You can find them somewhere in a long and winding tunnel in the chasm. Hmm. What did he say? I think... I think tunnel is the word he used, right? You could probably say that. Huh. The chasm must be quite the mysterious place, if even someone as well-traveled as Zhongli has never been there. I guess that's got to be because no one was allowed to go in until recently, when mining operations resumed, and I only heard about that from others. Ah, yes. Indeed. The miner said that the stone springs forth within a tunnel. No one knows who built it. All they know is that the tunnel meanders forward, as if created by someone dragging something colossal down. The sheer view of it is most awe-inspiring, apparently. Some say that the place might have perhaps been an ancient battlefield. But who fought there? We may never know. So I thought that Rex Lapis and Ejdaha could have fought there. Actually, I've been working on a new story lately. It'd be nice if I could put this plot into it, so I thought. So I invited Zhongli over to ask for his ideas, and to my surprise, he is in possession of an archaic stone. He said he bought it from a merchant at the market. He's got good taste, and he wouldn't miss a true treasure. I was thinking that the stone could make an ideal testament to my story, so if Zhongli doesn't object, I'd like to purchase the stone as a memento. Zhongli, are you really going to sell him the stone? Yes. Tin is an ingenious storyteller, and I enjoy his stories very much. It's my pleasure to be able to contribute to his creation. Eh? That said, if I sold him the stone, it would undermine the credibility of his story. As we have discussed before, Rex Lapis sealed Ejdaha underground. According to experts, there are many caves and mining tunnels in the chasm. It would be a constant disturbance to people there if Ejdaha really was sealed there. Would Rex Lapis not have considered that? Hmm, that makes sense. You're right. Rex Lapis wouldn't have done something so careless. Yep, that's a good point. <sighs> to be honest, I'd wanted to exchange my favorite folding fan for Zhongli's archaic stone. Huh? There's an illustration on it! I love to have this fan in hand while telling through the eyes of a dragon. Upon it is drawn a dragon soaring into the skies, its body free to roam the world, and its spirit unbound to aim high. It's an inspiring view. Whoa! This sort of fan's really rare! You know, even Paimon wants it now. Oh, right! Don't we have an archaic stone, too? R really Then would you mind giving it to me? You can have my folding fan. Might I have a word? The archaic stone is precious indeed, and your folding fan is also a work of art. I would advise against exchanging them as you would ordinary goods. Well, if you say so. Actually, you know, I have more than one such fan. You drew the illustrations on them, and that already makes them special. Anyone who enjoys your storytelling will rejoice if they were given such a generous gift. Really? Hmm, you're right. I truly am fortunate to have devoted listeners who understand my stories, and I couldn't ask for more than that, could I? To be honest, 
I made these fans so that I could one day gift them to like-minded audiences. And you certainly are such audiences, so they were always meant to be yours. Please wait here for me to fetch them. Can I really keep this? Of course. You are my audience, and that makes you a worthy recipient. Besides, I've made several such fans, so don't worry, just take it. And Zhongli, there's no need to be formal with me either. It's just a handmade fan. I hope it's not too meager a gift for you. <clears throat> I'll gladly take it. Thank you. An exquisite work of art indeed. It is truly something worth treasuring. Oh, right! Actually, we came to ask Zhongli about something. Can we talk to him for a moment? Ah, have I taken up too much of your time? Oh dear. Well then, please, go ahead. There is no need to apologize. You have my gratitude. Zhongli, were you at the castle? And you saved us too, didn't you? Thank you. She also said that he wouldn't have been able to escape without your help. Oh? Did he say so? Interesting. How time flies. Even he has learned to open up to others. So, what were you doing at the chasm? Hmm? Was I at the chasm? How curious. I must admit that this is the first time that I'm hearing of such a thing. Huh? Stop playing dumb! <laughs> Why would I play dumb? Hmm, this fan is of high quality indeed. Don't leave. Now that I am on vacation, I just take my time and walk around. I'd say that anything I run into is a happenstance of fate, for which I shall take no credit. Come to think of it, it's nice to travel to different places and witness many things in this vast world. They always bring old memories back. Do you miss the past? Not at all. I am immortal now, and being mortal means living in the present. A dragon soaring into the skies, its body free to roam the world, and its spirit unbound to aim high. Most inspiring, indeed. With much to be perceived in the four corners of the world, and much to marvel at amongst mountains and waters. I believe I must travel still more in the future. One with wind and cloud. Written in the stars. Delved into de This is long overdue. Gather. <laughs> Into the wind. 
Order guide you. Gather as one with wind and cloud. One with nature. Sure. No touching. Let me scribe. Decided by destiny. For Rex Lapis. Solidify. This is order. The wind is. Fallen leaves. Adorn my night. Born of ice and frost. Shadows of fate. Stabilize. Just enough. Let me scribe. Fate is upon you. All hail. Solidify. I will have order. Into the wind. Shadows of fate. Clouds high. The birds come. Stabilize. The wind knows me. Delve into destiny. Stabilize. Born of ice and frost. Stabilize. No touching. Let me scribe. Bow before gathering. Born of ice and frost. Into the wind. One with wind and cloud. Written in the stars. Blaze over. Access denied. Order guide you. Gather. The wind knows me. No touching. One with nature. Clouds high. The birds come. I will have order. Solidify. Into the wind. Decided by destiny. This is long overdue. Gather. This is order. Born of ice and fire. One with nature. Into the wind. Access denied. Fallen leaves. Adorn my night. Shadows of fate. Blaze over. Solidify. I will have order. Born of ice and frost. Written in the stars. Clouds high. The birds call. Access denied. One with nature. Stabilize. Into the wind. Let me scribe. Solidify. No touching. One with nature. Shadows of fate. Let me scribe.
Nothing lasts forever. Disappear! Solidify! This is long overdue. Into the wind. Shadow. The wind knows. No touching! Shadows of fate! Solidify! One with nature. Delve into destiny! Stabilize! Shadows of fate! Go! 
gather. Born of ice and fog. Into the wind. Decided by destiny. Delve into destiny. Stabilize. Order guide you. Access denied. No touching. Wind Strider. Shadows of fate. Stabilize. One with nature. Fate is upon you. This is order. For Rex Lapis. Access denied. Into the wind. One with nature. Solidify. Born of ice and frost. Into the wind. Delve into death. I will have order. One with nature. Written in the stars. This is order. Stabilize. The wind knows. Let me scribe. Stabilize. Born of ice and frost. One with nature. Shadows of fate. Blaze over. Fallen leaves. Adorn my night. The wind knows me. Crumble. I will have order. Decided by destiny. Let me scribe. Stabilize. One with nature. Stabilize. Access denied. Right here. Right now. Right here. Written in the stars. For Rex Lapis. I will have order. Born of ice and frost. Right now. Emerge. Delve into destiny. This 
is ordered. Stabilize. Access denied. Right here. Right now. Right here.
Worthless. Adventure time. Off we go. Everyone stand back. Solidify! Everybody stand back! Oh, coming through! <laughs> Man! Solidify! Huh? Incinerate! Yeah. It's 
order guide you. For Rex Lapis! Access denied. Emerge. Right now, nothing lasts forever. Fate is upon you. Emerge, right here. Born of ice and frost. Delved into death. I will have order. Access denied. Right now, right here. Let me scry. Solidify. Written in the stars. Born of ice and frost. Emerge. Right now. Emerge. This is order. Right now. Right here. Delve into destiny. Gather! Access denied! Emerge! Let me scry! This is long overdue! Fate is upon you! Solidify! Solidify! Delved into destiny!
solidified. You'll get frostbite. You know what to do for Slash Frost. This should be fun. For it, disappear. Worthless. No slacking off. My duty.
Every journey has its final day. Don't run. <sighs> Everybody stand back! Oz reveal the incinerate! Let's get down to business! Fairy! Order guide you! Gather! Let's light it up! It's my lucky day! There's more! Wings of darkness! Summer night from day. Teamwork is dream work. Let's light it up. Fairy, rise. This is order. Finally, solidify. Stay alive. By royal incinerate. Perfect. I summon thee. Going somewhere. Stay alive. I will have order. Everybody, stand back. Midnight Phantasmagoria! Motion to compel! Fall before me! Gather! Who could do it? This... Solidify! Teamwork is dreamwork. Let's watch. Midnight Fantastic. 